Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I'm going to show you a super simple project so everybody can do this at home. As you can see, we have a scrunchie here, so it's going to be super simple. Even if you don't have a sewing machine, you can do something like this. So I'm going to show you how. All that you're going to need is some fabric and of course a rubber band or any kind of band, hair band, whatever you have at home will work. So yeah, um, you can do this out of an old t-shirt that you're not wearing anymore or any leftover fabric that you might have from other projects or whatever you want to use for it. So yeah, you can make this very easily even if you're a beginner. So let's get started and see how we can do that. Okay, so I did say elastic band, but I don't recommend those that go on jars. So I think these hair bands are kind of better because they don't pull on your hair as much. So here we have a little bit of fabric. So you can see it basically has a really simple shape, a rectangle shape. You can make this as small or as big as you'd like. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the piece that I have here, but I did want to say the sizes are customizable. So this width here that I have is 10 centimeters and the length is 35. And so of course, um, you can make this longer. If it's longer, then it's going to be scrunchier. If it's wider, it's of course going to be um, a little bit more voluminous. So yeah, either way, you can do this pretty easily. Um, you just need a hairband, as I said, um, this piece of fabric of your choice, of course, and some pins. So let's get started. So you're going to take your hairband and what you're going to do is take your fabric. So you can see this is not a thick piece of fabric. You can, of course, do this with pretty much any kind. Um, just make sure that you know what you want in the front or actually on the outside. So in my case, it doesn't really matter. But if yours does, um, make sure to decide um, how you're going to do this. So first, you want the pretty side looking towards you. And then you're doing it kind of um, like this in half. So with the elastic band there, and you don't have to do the entire thing, of course, you just need to get started with this so you can see how I'm doing it. But I'll show you once again, just to make sure that you got it. So we're taking our band and we're going into the one corner like this. So the pretty side is this side, and then we're just folding it this way. So we're basically, again, as always with projects, folding pretty side on pretty side, and the elastic band is there just kind of in the way. So what you want to do is now pin or take a close pin or whatever you have to keep it in place. And yeah, you basically just want the um, hair band to stay where it is. And what we're going to do, um, so take as many pins as you need, of course. And what we're going to do is just do a regular straight stitch here so that we can connect that and keep it in place. And then we're just going to keep going with... Um, the elastic band kind of working with us, but make sure that it's not getting underneath your stitch or doing anything weird because then it's gonna get a lot more complicated really quickly. So let's do that really quickly. Okay, so you can see after this one stitch, you basically already have your scrunchie done. So you can see what it looks like. This is, of course, the inside section of the fabric. So we do want to turn it inside out. And that's actually not going to be as difficult as it seems. Basically, all that you want to do is just start turning inside out on the one end. And then it's just going to work with you, of course. Make sure that your elastic band is still in there, your, your hair band. And apart from that, just take your time and make sure to do it nicely and don't rip any stitches. There we go, now we're almost done. And all that we need is basically to connect this so that we don't see where it starts and ends. So what we wanna do is kind of fold the one side to the inside so that we can hide the other half in it. I'll show you. So you kind of push it to the inside that way, and then you just go with a stitch over here. And that way, 
So that's the simplest method that I've found. If you have any other, feel free to post them in the comments, but this is the easiest because it's just one stitch. Theoretically, you can do a stitch that kind of hides it here. So I call that a mattress stitch. And I have a couple of videos on that too, if you'd like to check that out. But yeah, apart from that, you can kind of fold it here or actually kind of align the two pieces. And then, so let me try and show you. Um, so basically you pull them apart and then what you want to do is just align. So right side on the right side and then you align the stitches here. And then you could do a section and then another section and then just kind of keep moving with it um, until you have just a tiny bit left that you can hide. But I think this is a pretty complicated way to do this. You can try it out if you'd like to practice, but it's just a really complicated way to do something that you can do in a much simpler way. So the first method that I did is probably the method that I'm going to show you. So where you basically push the one into the other, um, I think that's the fastest and easiest way to do this. So yeah, um, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put it right back in place where I want it. And then I'm going to do that stitch. That way I also hide the frayed endings and I keep it from fraying. So yeah, if you don't have a sewing machine, of course, that's okay. You can do a little stitch on here just to close it up. So that's also an option. Okay, so after however you close this opening, you are pretty much done with your scrunchie. So you can see here what it looks like. Of course, you can make it even scrunchier if you use the longer piece of fabric or even bigger or smaller if you use the wider or less wide piece of fabric. So that's completely up to you. And that's what I meant when I said that the sizes are customizable. Depending on the size of your fabric, of course, you can do, you can just work with the fabric. If you don't have a lot, then you can make a small scrunchie. If you have a ton of fabric, you can make it as big as you'd like. So you can use pretty much any type of fabric that you have. And this is what I love about this project. So you can use silk if you'd like to try that out. You can use some sturdier fabric. You can use something super soft. You can even try it out with stretchier fabric. So feel free to do that. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to shoot a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel and that way stay updated with all of our new ideas and videos. And yeah, until our next video, I wish you a great day. Bye.